All right, you are listening to an episode of Transparency and Merit. My name is Joe, and I'm here with Brian. Brian, uh, you chose this uh, subject matter. Uh, what in the heck is going on? What, why did you name it what you did? I decided to name it what I did because uh, what the screen is uh, showing is what I... Uh, I posted on uh, on Twitter. I'm gonna. Re- I, I'm gonna. I, 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 am, I, advertise, I spent about two hundred dollars. I am to gonna advertise it. Oh boy! Would you, and would I'm gonna. Probably... I'm, I am gonna read this tweet soon in a moment. But you actually promoted this tweet. Yes. Holy moly! Do you think I'm a fool for that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! And you have. Yes. And I'm looking at it. I see. Um, Let's see. Where is that? Is it? How long ago did you post it? Because I'm not seeing any. This is a tweet, and you got okay. You got 31 likes and 11 comments. Wow, that is not. I I mean, for 200 bucks, you got 31 likes or hearts. Yeah. Did they? Yeah, for, yeah, did they you explain know, why? It, was, yeah, it probably should be like for a video I shoot. Where I should advertise more often than that, to be honest with you. Um, I don't get any of this or some. Okay, so let's read the comment. Uh, you you promoted a tweet that says, Authe- "Hold on a second here. Hold on. I just want to make sure. Have you linked this? Uh, have you uh, posted this anywhere?" I posted it on. Uh, I posted this on. Uh, I posted it on Twitter. What do you mean? Po- you mean the show? Yeah, I'm, I'm linking it now. Okay, link it to the show. But uh, oh, you did. You went in here and po- and posted it. I just I posted you. it on. Uh, I posted it all over. Okay. Uh, all over Discord. So you know, you're so scatterbrained, you can't even answer a simple question. So let's read this uh, post. Author- authoritarians. I have trouble with that word. Authoritarians and self-destructive people always want to censor. Yes. Now, um, the media is responsible for heavy censorship. And the people running the show are people like you and me, right? We We all suffer. We all die. Um, we're all people. We're all humans, um, and, but some people are driven by um, for, for 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 media exposure. Is for some reason, people are willing to censor others because of their job, which is, um, you know, says it all right there. There's always going to be someone that'll do the job, right? Uh, I'll tell you something. Um, I don't think it's as much for their – I mean, like, I think portions of it is about their job. But I think uh, a lot of these reporters and these newscasters and these pundits – Believe what they're saying. Believe what they're saying. And they were you – know, like, like, you know, some of these guys were really savagely attacked uh, online. I'm sorry, but 31 – 32 likes – uh, only 12 retweets. That doesn't seem like yeah, a, no. a fair shake, really. Uh, let's see here. Give Bernie my regards was the first comment to you. And I responded to him. So you responded, how does what I posted um, support Bernie? And then uh, the capitalistic guy says that he's a Marxist who calls the right Nazis. And then you responded again, well, I was uh, commenting on both communism and Nazism. I must say that the left today wants to shut down what I say far more than the right today. Uh, The left is far more censorious than the right. Yeah, and I I do believe that. And and like I've said before, uh, I think this... These news, like I said, these newscasters and these pundits, you know, 
YouTube was the was one of the first vehicles where people could respond to some of these individuals who made these comments. You the know, next, know, like, the, the next comment's great. The next one. What's that? Gray Block, the CEO of Scoliosis, which is <laughs> hilarious, says he leaves a comment. Why the fuck is this a promoted tweet? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just wanted to get the conversation going. And, uh, yeah, I guess you didn't like what I said. But, um, yeah. He didn't, why, he didn't come. Why not? And I asked, why not? What's the problem with it? He didn't return it. So uh, people were like, uh, he does not say he want to censor. I, for one, am a free speech absolutist. Um Minnie says this. You would get my follow if you weren't a promoted ad. I don't trust your kind. <laughs> I don't know what he means by that. <laughs> I think I think what he's th- saying is that I think he has the perception maybe that only maybe a, a business or corporation uh, would promote a tweet or, pr- or a product. I don't think he's coming from the perspective that any – uh, any monster <laughs> out there in society can um, can um, promote a tweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so, right. So just because you decided, hey man, I I believe so strongly in this point that I'm going to promote it. Uh, this guy was uh, for some reason um, not trustworthy of that um, opinion. And that's yeah. that's that's too bad. I'm actually going to comment to that guy um, that yeah. this comment seems yeah. misguided. Yeah, maybe, I mean, I put my maybe, I put maybe, my shekels together. Maybe even myopic. Yeah, I think I've called him that. But there were other people who were saying, how, "Why is this on my timeline? And how the f did this get on my timeline?" It's like, dude. <laughs> What's what's the deal here? I can't uh, I can't put something on there. I mean, like this is on my timeline. How, you know, like like it's because it's a swastika sticker and a hammer. They were more upset by the, the the swastika sticker than they were by the hammer and sickle. Both were authoritarian, by the way. Of course, and uh, I'm and, I'm, still, uh, I'm blown away by Minnie's comment. Minnie, the creator, by saying what he said uh, is it's almost uh, it's. You're fighting censorship with your dollars, you know. Mm-hmm. So how? So why would this guy doubt what you're doing? It's, yeah, it's I, such, it's a strange comment to make that uh, you know someone like you could get on here and believe something and promote it and spend their money to promote it, and yet he's not trustworthy of that. I find that I find that sad in a way. I, I'd like to know who, who's trustworthy. Yeah, who is trustworthy? Who are you? Tr- I guess he's. Tr- I guess he's trusting people that um, don't uh, believe. You know, maybe not. Maybe believe in what they're saying, but uh, maybe don't have money to to uh, promote their tweet, or maybe may not know that they could promote their tweet. Anybody can promote a tweet. So I'm a little shocked. I'm a little thrown off by that. Uh, it's it's a little troublesome that. People are. I mean, this is beyond blind. Uh, it, it seems that way. It certainly yeah. does seem seem that way. But you know, it it, it is what it is. I mean, I can't. Um, the next person says, yeah. "I don't get any of this," and you said, "Don't get what?" And then the next person said, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> I don't get that. And what then, do they mean by that? What's what, what are people's hair in a tizzy for? Is this, I mean, is this the America? I, I, I don't know. People. Perhaps, I, perhaps what you did is you, you got it promoted. And, um, I don't, I don't generally look at promoted tweets very often, but maybe I'll start looking at promoted tweets. I, you know, I think I, I, in a way I understand what Minnie is saying, but at the same time, um, I think the comment was misguided that, you know, I think uh, to not trust uh, it because it was promoted is kind of uh, silly. But anyways, I'm going in circles on that one. Uh, it was, yeah. And that, that was about it. You didn't really get a, a whole. Oh, wait, there's some more replies here. Let's see here. Um, 
Okay, how the fuck is this an ad on Twitter? <laughs> why can't it be? Your your response is why can't it be on Twitter? What do you what do you see as the problem? So Jacob responds, I don't know, man. Maybe the symbol that represented a fascist government that led to genocide that killed eight million people. But yeah, I don't know, dude. Uh, let's see here. Does context mean anything? Are you not being a little myopic? And uh, was, this guy, Jacob, Jacob, maybe you should listen to this. So, you know, one thing that would help the show is if you put the link to our shows in, in your tweets, by the way. All right. Does context mean anything? Are you not being a little myopic? And then Jacob responded, just stop. Would rather live in a world where people think uh, about what they say and don't say and post stupid shit than a world where everyone feels completely free to say and do anything. He sounds like a, he sounds like a, an authoritarian. Mm, yeah. Why do you feel this is so stupid? I'd like to know. And don't you think you're being, you should ask him, don't you think you're being a little bit authoritarian yourself? Yeah, I agree. And who, and who are you to decide what's stupid and what isn't? I think I asked him that already. All right. Well, we got that. We we are taking phone calls, by the way. 310-668-1969. Maybe I should post that in the chat room. But, uh, you know, look, people are people. We're all humans. We're all suffering. We all die. I mean, that's the bottom line here. Um, and, and, and to be censored is, I, I think censorship is one of the most vile, evil thing. I respect what you did. Yeah. I respect that you uh, you spoke with your money, and that's one of the most powerful things we could do these days, um, where we spend our money. Um, you know, how, how we... Re I mean, come on, right? That's the only way, in my opinion, to affect corporate change. If you don't buy a product... That corporation has to adapt to that change, right? They have to, yeah. they have to satisfy their board members. That's their number yeah. one priority. And if we're not spending our money on that product or that service, then they're going to make the change or go out of business, plain and simple. That's just how it works. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and, and uh, yeah, and then getting back to our point here, it does surprise me how 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 bad the censorship has gotten, and you know, I never I never thought, you know, I always thought that they would maybe stick to their own arguments. I never thought how low and how devious and and how sneaky. Um. These tech companies seem to have become, and and just you know, the more I observe it, the more I see, the more I see it is just how how how, how much lying they do, and they just seem so just they seem so dishonorable, and 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 you know, I. This is this is probably the lowest and most dishonorable thing that I've seen in my lifetime. This internet censorship, this 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 big tech censorship, is about yeah it's it's just it's 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 the most low scumbaggy uh, dishonest thing that I have ever witnessed, and um, you know. And I don't know, like, I don't know what to, you know, what can be done about it because it seems like the people are losing out 
to the uh, social justice outrage mobs who control a lot of newsrooms uh, and control a lot of high tech industry. And they probably they speak the loudest. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're and, and, and they're the ones who seem to be in power and they have the power to silence you. And I, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what else to, to, to really say on that issue, except well, that, uh, I'll tell you it's impacted yeah. my life. Um, some of my favorite podcasts have been taken down. Some of my favorite podcasts were flagged or, uh, completely like the accounts were completely re- uh, removed. So there's a severe problem here. And, um, People have to, I guess, start, stop, you know, putting too much faith that um, Twitter and YouTube are going to save them. Because from my perspective, uh, that that gig is already kind of up. Uh, I don't think, I think maybe we're led to believe that there's more activity on uh, these social networks. I really believe people are bailing uh, and finding smaller platforms. They don't. Why, why do we need the biggest platform to, you know, meet friends, meet like minds, meet friends, um, or meet opposing views uh, and well, argue and, the points? And, and, and that's true. I mean, there are other platforms, but uh, YouTube has, you know, has advertised itself as an open forum. They have, uh, uh, they've had laws in place that, that that stop them from getting sued. By the way, as an open forum, there are there's legal corporate ramifications to that right i mean you can't just say that and then start censoring everybody yeah because then you're then you're a publisher then you're a publisher and uh the fact that they they basically um they basically uh got a law passed where they couldn't be sued for copyright infringement and the stuff like that because they just said we're an open forum you can post what you want and then they you know, they began to change algorithms and things like that. I mean, it's really, really sneaky, low stuff. But I think that they were. I think there were two things that were at play. Number one, and I call it the civil rights industrial complex, was catching wind on what what was being said out there, and it was attacking. The, the the status quo of the, of the civil rights industrial complex. It was attacking uh, their beliefs, and it was. I think it was rather effective because I don't think that their answers were that palatable. So, you know, instead of changing their arguments or changing some of their uh, their debate, what they ended up doing was saying, "Hey, wait a minute. We can't have. You know, we we you know the." We've had the status quo for a while. We don't want it to get out there that that uh, you know we don't want to be exposed, and we don't want this questions going out there. So rather than change our argument and, and and restructure ourselves, we're just going to censor. And it's almost like we're living under kind of a religious state. You know, social justice. Uh, this kind of the kind of perverted civil rights movement that, that's that's today, it's kind of a religion. And if you go against that faith, they're going to punish. You know, uh, there's they'll censor you. They'll censor you at worst, and this, they'll censor you at best. Punish you at worst, and. There's no court, like, you know, the court of public opinion, they control the court of public opinion, and and there's no trial. It's really a lynching, is what it is. It's a lynch mob mentality, It's, it's it's a digital lynch mob mentality that, uh, that, uh, that doesn't hold court. It just says, this is what it is, and this is what you have to abide by. And it's like, I'm just surprised that more Americans don't stand up to it, but it's almost like we're all afraid. We're all afraid 
of the, uh, the, the, the woke social justice outrage mob. And I, I don't think they're numerous. I think there's more of us than there are of them, but they've metastasized themselves in places of power where to get rid of them would be too costly are, are, are so costly that, that, that they're just going to have this cancer because it's like, hey, I don't want to lose my leg. The, cancer's, the cancer may spread to the rest of my body, but it's going to take a while. So, and I don't want to lose my leg. You know, it's like the cancer spread to the leg. You got to cut off the leg. Businesses aren't going to do that. So there's, there are people that want to make money and that's all. And, and that's the one thing they care about. They care about their bottom line. And then there are the people who whose ego has been built upon the civil right, the, the civil rights industrial complex, and they're not going to lose that. So they're basically bullying businesses to go along with them. And there are there are um, there are glimpses of the uh, of it cracking, but I don't know. I mean because. So many people's egos are tied to that, and they've already gone so low and so scuzzy that they're not going to um, they're not going to go down without a fight because they know to a degree there may be retribution sooner or later down the line. Um, they they may have happened to them what they've done to other people. They may be the ones canceled down the road because it happened from my perspective the first blacklist by conservatives in the um the anti-communist was a uh, was was a um was a reaction to the to the leftist and the communist trying to blacklist the 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 pro-american group the pro-american groups in the film industry and now I think, I think there may be blowback to what they're doing, and I think they're kind of aware of that. All right. Uh, anything else to add? No, not not much. Uh, yeah, I don't have any more else to add on that. 